What is going on YouTube? It is Primitive here and today I'm going to be bringing you another match from RPT9 Locals. Today we are going to be having Grandis Kuwagamon, which is going to be on the left, and then I'm going to be on the right playing the Gabumon Bond of Friendship deck that I did showcase on the channel. And starting off, I am going to be going first and I am just going to start to build up with the Gabumon. I have BT6 Gabumon, I have Matt. Very unlikely that I go in for Bond right away, but normally you do want that BT6 Gabu for when you do get your Gabu Bond turns, but regardless, I just need that Gabu Mon in there so that I can get value next turn, but now my opponent's gonna go for the Weed Mon and Raising, and we get the Tentomon to come out to grab that Terrier Mon. Terrier Mon definitely can be pretty annoying uh, versus any blue deck, really. There's Hammer Sparks, Howling Memory Boost, and whatnot, but won't prevent Matt. I do keep Gabu Mon and Raising to play out another Matt, so that way I can just get full value next turn and get that extra memory, but mostly just wanna get that draw Draw with Gabu Bond. Sometimes it does take a little bit to set up, so you need to get as much draw as you can going. My opponent's thinking about what they want to do here. Gonna go with that Okuamon X Antibody in the back. Really, no matter what they did, it was going to pass turn, so it's really do you want to build up and raising or play something on board, maybe even get a memory boost out. But putting me to two, so now I'm going to go to four with the mats, gain two, draw two. And I'm thinking about what I want to do here. I do need to set up my memory tamer, and I also just need a red source on the board for my lightning joust later, so. Now is a good time to get that going and then just put my opponent three with the Drabu Gabu. I was considering trying to put them at a lower memory, but I wanted to get the memory um, tamer up and I have a lightning joust in hand, I do believe. So being able to set that up with the bond already is going to be very nice, but my opponent's going to go with the Grand Kuwagamon here. This is obviously pretty scary. They could go into Grandis or they could just go for a lot of checks. They are going to Digiburst one. They also have the Kokuamon underneath, so they actually have security attack plus two. So going to swing in here, hitting the tie on the first check, so I would have had that red source regardless, but still want that memory tamer out, but no grand is coming out yet, or at least my opponent hasn't played it out yet, but probably would have wanted to go into that prior, but just going to go with the green memory boost, going to put me to three with the hero. Shows that they also have the red package, bottom decking two heroes right there, but coming back into my turn, I am going to be at three, and I am considering if I want to try to go for the bond of friendship here. That could help me get over this grand Kuwagamon, or if I have the Amber Spark, I could also go for the Joust right here, but just thinking about what my options are, I don't want to commit to anything too hasty right now, because I'm only at one security, so one wrong move could take me out, but my opponent doesn't have anything in raising and they don't have a tamer to be able to go on top of a hybrid so I do choose to go for the bond here go for the spark and then get that lightning joust and this is pretty much just my chance here I have to see if I can survive so I'm going to be swinging two checks at what is 16 18 I believe 19k so two more checks uh, last check gonna swing with the Gabumon I don't think it really matters what check you go for right there if you go between the Gabumon or the Gabu bond but just in case I hit some sort of removal it's much more likely that it would delete the draw Gabu or the Gabu Bond. So just in case did swing in there, but now I got the Leomon in the back with the EX1 Gabu on top. I could consider swinging in here because I have the Ondeletion gain two and the Terriermon's in the back. Plus I have the EX1 Gabu, but I do kind of want to have the Leomon out here. It is fairly good in this matchup because it can pass your opponent's turn when they go for the plays. So instead I'm just going to keep it there. going to spark up and play the Madoki, put my opponent at one so they don't have the green memory boost. Now it gives a high chance. I thought they would Digivolve on top of it but they do instead choose to just swing here um that's fine with me regardless they are going to go with the green memory boost but they actually don't have a green source anymore because the terrier mon did go down so instead they are just going to play the hero put me to three which is fine um that's going to give me plenty of memory to work with this turn but still searching for tamers of my own so going to swing in because i want to get the gabumon effect looking for matt but i will take hero that is fine and i do survive the check so um, Leomon survives another day, but now I can double up on Red Tamer. Still no Matt, but I still have a really strong board presence. This Leomon surviving last turn does mean that I'm going to be able to get another swing with it and be able to potentially hit that Matt. Um, have the Double Tamer out and the Gabumon coming out, so just a couple pieces of way from being able to go for the turn that we had last turn. But if this Leomon swings and survives again, it could just potentially be enough checks to be able to just chip away with rookies. So I have to think if I want to promote here or if I want to keep in raising. If I do promote and I draw something like a mat later in the turn, I'm not going to get any value. So decide to swing here so I can hit the mat or at least try to find the mat. And I survive and check the Weedmon only 3k so I can play the mat out here and just play another Madoki. In case my opponent gets rid of one Madoki, I want to be able to prevent both these green memory boosts from being popped. This is showing the power of Madoki. Yes, they did get value off those green memory boosts being able to search, but not being able to gain the memory is going to shorten their turns a bit. If they could pop them here, they could be able to go up into Grand Kamagamon and whatnot, but 
effect going live now where if I do get suspended next turn, I do lose the memory. So pseudo ice wall effect, which is really good. The promo Kuamon, a really good addition to this deck and a very good card to come out for really just green in general if you are looking for some defensive pressure like that. But my opponent, think about what to do. Again, I do have a fairly strong board presence and I have this Leomon, which is also just going to be able to keep going in for another swing if they don't swing over it right now. And if they do, it does pass turn. So not the best situation for Grandis right now and not where you want to be. Um, I don't have a lot of source strip, but my opponent does know that I have some source strip, so they could be scared of building up and me just stripping sources here, but I am going to promote to be able to gain one, draw one here, and I am just going to go ahead and swing. I have enough memory to go for all of these swings and lose the memory, and I searched for Gabumon C3 BT6 Gabu, so I was joking. Don't know which one I want to take there, but again, Leomon is living, getting three checks this game, so I'm just going to swing in here. I do hit the Stingmon. My Madoki should go down, but we are just swinging through. I don't think there was actually any removal that could take me out so just swinging through but that is going to be today's match a very aggressive very quick one where it could have gone either way that first game and that second game was also just Madoki kind of carried and the Leomons went in but if you take any lesson from this it's don't leave a BT6 Gabumon on the board when there is a mat and a red tamer because you can just get cleared with lightning joust but if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe send me even more content but I hope you have a fantastic day peace out